Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to part two of our Italian baby moon. We are now in Florence. We just left Lake Como and we got into Florence today and we had the most stressful driving experience because apparently you do not drive a car in Florence. Well, and all the maps were like, drive across this bridge and then you go to that bridge and it's a pedestrian bridge and you're like, or it's just actually blocked off. Yeah, like I can't drive across this bridge. <laughs> so I had to call the guy at the hotel and he like verbally directed me through And he waited the outside streets. for us so that we found the hotel. <laughs> it was insane. But we made it, safe and sound, car is good. The streets here are so, so tight. And also there are a lot of streets that are one ways and a lot of them are blocked off, like he said, for foot traffic. And even the streets that are not blocked off for foot traffic, people do not get out of the way. Like they are walking across the street. They're walking in the streets. Like it's a pedestrian area, but even though it's a driving street, they still walk across and they will not move. So anyway, we're here. We're probably not gonna take our car anywhere for the next four days. What is great though, is that our hotel is in the center of everything. Yep, for sure. So we're like great a location, walking distance from everything. Terrible to drive to. Yeah, but this is our room and it's actually really cute. Kind of exploded a little bit in it, but this is the room. Very simple and cute. And then this is the bathroom, nice and clean. And then shower toilet room but we're gonna try to go find some coffee and food i'm wearing my madewell dress my everlyn sneakers and then this revolve sweater jwaz has on that same abercrombie top abercrombie tee lululemon pants that's your sambas and his lululemon belt bag which he's become a huge fan of stopped for a little pour over which most places here do not serve pour overs. Grateful. It's Americanos or cappuccinos. But we got one and now we're gonna do some more walking. How big these are? Oh man. So good. We saw a huge line outside of this place and everyone eating their sandwiches. A win. The Gucci Wiener Dog Parka. Oh my gosh. We need it. Son, like you said, you've done. Oh. Five year olds. This is Jaywaz's dream. The wine window. Jaywaz got his wine from his wine window. Well, is it good bad, though? Yeah, it's fun, but it's the plastic cup. The plastic cup. Really. <laughs> Some of them I've seen give you glasses. Not here though. Not this late. Well, really, it's it's afternoon at this point. I think it's 1.40. Jaywaz and I got up this morning and did the continental breakfast at our hotel, which is kind of nice because you just you don't have to wake up and think about where you're going to eat or really like, I don't know. It's just like one variable you don't have to think about. So we had breakfast at our hotel this morning and then we spent the entire morning going down the like luxury street here in Florence, which has literally everything. But it was a nice way to kind of avoid the rain we had a huge rainstorm pass through and we ended up in the YSL store during that which was very nice because people's umbrellas were blowing everywhere and it was getting a little crazy we went back to the hotel changed shoes and now we are on our way to go find some food I think we're gonna try to go to the Gucci Museum and the Gucci Gardens which is like a two-minute walk from our hotel honestly where we're located is like impossible to get to by car but so convenient for walking around so I'll be sure to include the hotel info down below in the description box because honestly we've really loved the location of our hotel also apparently this is not the busy season but it is so busy still
Gucci Museum. Just finished at the Gucci Museum, which was eight euros per person. It was very small, but it was, it was fun. It's kind of nice to get out of the rainy weather. Uh, look who we found in Italy. Leah's taking us to her favorite pizza place. the next day and guys so last night I forgot to tell you before it happened but we got to meet up with some of our really really good friends Mitchell and Malia who live in Nashville here in Florence which was such a crazy experience they actually had been in Italy for the past three weeks and we overlapped literally one day so they actually left to go back to the States this morning so we got dinner with them which was so so sweet and I haven't actually seen Malia in so long she works on movie sets she does costume designing and so when she's on movie sets she's gone for like three months at a time so I had not seen Malia in so long and the fact that we got to meet up here in Florence was just such a fun experience but we're out this morning the Sun is shining look how pretty the rivers looking today blue skies what's better than this hopefully the Ferrari <laughs> So, Jaywaz's dream has come true. Somehow. Somehow, we're in Italy and he is renting a Ferrari for part of the day to drive. And this whole morning, we were like, is this gonna happen? I feel like this isn't real. Are they really gonna trust us peasants with a car like this? Turns out they will. They will. You just gotta put a deposit down. Just so, <laughs> fingers crossed, we Absolutely. actually haven't driven it yet. Did you put the other, put the mirrors out? My favorite thing though was while the guy was showing Jaywaz how to eat, drive the car. And sorry, we had to get out of that really busy street and get moving. But anyway, what I was saying was my favorite thing so far was while Jaywaz was learning all the ins and outs of how to drive this fancy car, every person and their mom was... What do you think? <laughs> I didn't know it did that. Was staring at this car and I was just watching people watch the car even though that's like what Jay Waz does whenever we see one on the street he like he'll like sneakily take a picture and stuff but it was just funny being on the other end of it and watching people watch the car this is and so Jay Waz sick. <laughs> <laughs> his dream has come true everyone I know we're gonna drive with the front front end lift until yes definitely until we get out of here it's silly to know something and you're like there's no way it's gonna be as good as nope. you envision it being everything has just been so good the weather sunny the road wide open and amazing like very hilly going up mountains and all kinds of stuff the views stunning the views unbelievable the car so fast so cool very fun 10 the out vibes, of 10 would recommend 10 out of 10 now we're gonna go to a winery and get lunch yeah so at the end of this 
experience. They have you drop the car at a lunch spot. So we're gonna get to get some food, which I'm very excited about because baby's hungry, mommy's tired. <laughs> I was literally falling asleep. And... In the last five minutes, I started to doze off. Something about me in a moving vehicle, a plane, which... a bus, a car, doesn't matter, knocks me out. I was thrashing this thing. <laughs> Like to the point where I was getting nauseous and she yeah. I look over and she's like I know we were oh honestly because the the roads here are so like the, at least the roads that we took were super windy and, and gorgeous like the most beautiful roads we've ever seen here but I had to like hold on to this little handle on the side to not be like but it's been so fun honestly but highly recommend we'll put the link in the description box if you're interested if yeah. you've got a guy or or you like Cars. Yeah. I wouldn't drive it. It I, makes me stress. I, I, I but he's offered loved to it. let her drive. She didn't want to. I didn't want to drive. I'm getting nervous, but he has been thriving. two fingers up and the other two down okay like this yeah because if you if you do like this you have the stronger the, the indication of the glass yeah. okay so you start dragging like this okay to open the wine we use it to open it okay and now the left hand you can taste it or the bouquet. Yeah. Okay, you you are uh, right or left? I'm right-handed. I'm right-handed. So you pass, you can pass. Can I do the right? Yeah, okay. of course. In the in this side. Okay. Yeah. And now, yeah. One uh, recommendation, if I can. Yes, please. Um, don't see the glass when you do like this. Uh -huh. Don't see it. Okay. Don't look at. D it. Don't look at. Okay. Oh, okay. So you can. Do I was like trying to make sure I was actually yeah. spinning. <laughs> okay. Okay, it works good. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You are so good. I can't Look even tell. You're not even looking. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but don't look. It is a normal movement. Yeah. yeah, I drink wine every day, every time. It's very casual. <laughs> you are in your comfort zone. Huh? Sure. Huh? <laughs> this is your happy place. <laughs> I just don't normally swirl, so. <laughs> Jaywaz is doing wine tasting. I'm doing an olive oil tasting. I'm gonna start with the pepper olive oil. Mmm, it does have a little bit of kick on the end. And I got a little bit of the balsamic, which maybe threw off the olive oil, but the balsamic is amazing. They brought us three courses and now this little dessert. Jay Wallace has had a sufficient amount of wine. <laughs> he always gets all giggly, <laughs> smiley. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're having a great time though, in case you were wondering. Good morning! It's the next day. Our coffee in hand. We're walking to Market in Florence to meet up with our group for an Italian cooking class with an Italian grandma, apparently. Jay Waz booked it. I'm gonna be disappointed if it's not an Italian grandma. She better be a grandma. We'll see it um, but we were so exhausted yesterday. We woke up yesterday morning already so tired and then yesterday just during the day, it just felt, there was like a lot of adrenaline, a lot of excitement and then like a hard crash after it. So we got back to the room and I had to do a little bit of work and then we just stayed, ended up staying in the room. Went to bed at 7.45 last night, slept basically through the entire night. We woke up one time at midnight, fell back asleep. Woke up at our alarm at six this morning, so glad we got some rest. We obviously really needed it, but we are excited for our last day here in Florence. Tomorrow we leave for Tuscan countryside, and then our trip is over. It's honestly gone by so fast, but we're excited for today. And she 
born in Puglia. A Puglia, you know the heel of the boot? That's one of what we're gonna use the knife anyway. But Mezzaluna is the one that we like to use more. Uh, Mezzaluna means half moon. Um, is uh, an amazing tool that will let us cut the vegetables without losing uh, anyway the juice uh, inside. Gloria! <laughs> Just a drop, she said. Go, 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 And you put like a mountain of tomatoes on top with the juice, like this, just in case. <laughs> a little bit of olive oil, salt, because what we added before was not enough. We just got back to our hotel room. Best tour ever, you did so good. Honestly, it was a hitter. It was like an 11 out of 10. I'll put the link down below that Jay was found it actually to did, book it. It actually did win number one cooking class like in the world in 2018 or something. Yeah, and they actually so I was just- like, probably still hits, and it did. And it the awesome. same company is also, don't they, she just said that they just number scored one number one wine tour, tour yeah. in the world? I guess. I don't know. Either way, so fun. Great. Very personal. The interpreter guys, yeah. guide that we had was so Gloria, amazing, was Gloria. Was and then the Italian grandma, Camila, was so she's incredible. Hilarious. She's so <laughs> funny. You literally don't understand a thing she's saying. And the interpreter, like, interpreted maybe like 80% of the things she was, was saying funny. and left the rest up for us to just decipher because this woman was wild. I mean, so much joy for life, so much energy. We really liked it because it felt very lighthearted. There was no like snobbery or like, I don't know. I feel like sometimes you can take cooking classes and you can feel like you're dumb or... It was just very, very easy to understand. Just a lot of fun. And even if you weren't all working on the same thing, you didn't feel like you were just kind of like bored or waiting around. I feel like it was very well planned out. Yeah. And it was more than half the day. So I think that was like such a great That's experience. Fun. We got to walk around the Florence Market as you guys saw. And then they also gave us like a little mini tour during the shuttle ride to and from. So I feel like at all points we were like taught something, yeah. which was really fun. But we're changed. I had to put on a tank top because I was sweating on the way back, but we're gonna go try to catch a sunset. One sunset, hopefully it's starting to get cloudy again. We haven't gotten any good sunsets this entire trip. And then also, I think we're gonna go to the Prada store, maybe. Maybe. And pick out a little something, something that we looked at the first day. So, texting my girl Michelle, she gave me her number. <laughs> I was like, let me know if you need help with anything. And I was like, okay. I, every person at the stores did. They like gave us all their cards, but this girl was actually really nice. We're not just buying it because she's nice, but she was really, really nice. I kind of feel like the official dog of Italy is the weenie dog. We have seen so many dachshunds here. It's like, I would say maybe 80% of the dogs that we have seen in Como or here have all been wiener dogs. Short hair wiener dogs, usually black. Or like the black with the little brown paws. 
I don't know what. Mean you should get one. <laughs> don't lie. Last night, our house sitter sent us a picture of Mr. P and Riley sitting in the fall leaves on our deck. And Jaywaz and I were just laying in bed gushing <laughs> over how cute Mr. P is. Still a turd, but we love him. <laughs> to quickly drop off purchase, which I will show you guys tomorrow because we want to catch the sunset. We're going to the, the Piazza Michelangelo. I think that's what it's called. Again, <laughs> we've been butchering everything. So I'll just put the locations that we visit just in the description box written out because I feel like my <laughs> pronunciations of things will not be helpful for you. Hike number two of our trip with the views. So pretty. Well, not much of a sunset. No. But <laughs> These lights are so pretty. These lights are fast. Gorgeous. All right, we are back and dinner. Well, the restaurant that we're going to doesn't open until 7.30 because everyone apparently here eats very, very late. But we're gonna do a little unboxing. Jawaz is here lying on the bed. Hey. So he's just chilling. The room is small. The room is small, there's nowhere for him to go. But we're gonna do an unboxing. Also this little canopy bed. Oh, kind of fun. Uh, the bag that I got on this trip. So this is the giant shopping bag that it came in. And on our first full day here in Florence, we went in pretty much every single store besides like Dior and Chanel to just try stuff on. And I ended up trying on the diaper bag from Prada which I wasn't like expecting to love as much as I did, but after the few days that we've been here, I was thinking like, what am I gonna use the most? What will be the most like functional and versatile just with like this new season of life? And then also what would mark this trip in a really significant way. And I thought that the diaper bag was the best way to mark the baby moon. So this is the little dust bag that it comes in. And what's really nice about this bag is that it is technically a diaper bag. So it has the functionality of a diaper bag, which is nice but you can use it for like travel or if you want to just use it as like a tote bag. So this is it and it's out of their nylon material. So it's just super practical. It's in black, it's like not gonna get dirty. The front here has the changing mat, which is what makes it a diaper bag, which is just so fun. And then it also has pockets for bottles on both sides. I think this is like a sleeve for a bottle. I don't know. I asked her what this was for and she said that it was probably for like a bottle. And then the back has a place you can like slip it over your luggage. So if you wanted to take this while you're traveling pre-baby, post-baby stage, you can still use it as like a tote bag for travel, which is again why I thought this would be a really functional bag, not just to only have while our baby's a baby, but also just to have as like a tote bag. And then the back also has a zipper pocket. And then on the inside, it is lined with like a, I don't know if you guys can see it, like a textured lining. It is black, so it's kind of hard to tell. That's that pocket. And then it's got the shoulder straps and then also has an adjustable crossbody strap, which I thought was really, really nice as well. So on the inside here, Strap comes in the little pouch. It's like their classic seatbelt strap that's fully adjustable. It says Prada on it. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's very subtly embroidered on the strap. It just hooks on to the bag. So I like that you can wear it as like a shoulder bag or as a crossbody. All the hardware feels 
obviously very nice but it's also like super lightweight which is important because you're probably going to be loading it up with stuff anyway so it's nice that the bag itself is pretty light on the inside we've got two back pockets that don't have zippers and then there's one big zipper pocket on the inside as well and then the rest of the bag is just one big compartment but the whole thing is lined with that same kind of patterned it's not nylon on the inside but it's still a very like durable interior fabric so that's it isn't she so cute i just love how honestly the functionality of it really got me and also jay was he was like a huge supporter of this one he was he was definitely excited about this one. He even tried it on. He pictured himself carrying it around because obviously he's gonna be carrying the bag as well. So yeah, but this is so fun. Hello, it's the next day. We just got to Tuscany, or the Tuscan countryside. Our hotel is like literally in the middle of nowhere. It's, it, might, it might be like 800 years old, probably not, but like maybe. <laughs> it is so beautiful. Like the whole thing inside out, is just so it's like what you think of when you think about staying in the tuscan countryside but we're sitting out here on our little terrace also there's like one other family here on the whole property <laughs> so probably will be just us dining in the dining room tonight at dinner we like walked up to the place and we were like uh our original hotel that we had booked actually we got canceled on because apparently they are closed the last night that we had booked that hotel apparently here we're here late in the season in the late yeah we're here late season which means that a lot of these places actually just shut down on off season so our travel card ended up calling us switched our hotel to this one which is so beautiful i want to show you guys around the property tomorrow because it's it feels like a retreat like show them the sun right now okay 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 look at this Good morning, we just ate our breakfast and now we're trying to find a place to plop and do our Bible and journaling because honestly, we have not done it like hardly at all this trip. We've just been go, 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 go. So we're kind of taking the next couple of days here in the middle of nowhere <laughs> to just have like mm. a retreat and just honestly relax. But I wanted to show you guys this property because it's so beautiful. That's where we came in. Walk over this old bridge. That goes over the pool. It opens up to this beautiful grassy field. Pool's on the other side. As you can see in the distance there. There's just not a whole lot out here except for some wineries. And then over here, I think is where we're gonna plop for a bit on one of these benches back there. Do some journaling, some reading, enjoy. There's our castle. <laughs> we are now walking around the little town that our original hotel was by. And I'm gonna link the one that we were originally gonna stay at because it was Yes, Honestly, <laughs> nicer. We're gonna drive up better than the one that we're at now. Which not that ours is like horrible. It's just this one is actually very close to a little town, whereas we have to drive at least ten minutes to thirty minutes anywhere. So we drove ten minutes. Now we're in this cute little town, and this town has restaurants and things like that. Which where we're at is just a property. I forgot to vlog, but we just yeah, ate at this little lunch spot. A lot of stuff is closed, Definitely. which is why that hotel rebooked us. I'm just gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. I know that was like the most anticlimactic ending to this vlog, but honestly, there's not a whole lot We're going on here. Yeah. I would highly recommend not coming to the countryside after October 27th because it's dead. It's really, really dead. But I could definitely see this being so beautiful and quaint during their actual like busy season, which would be more early fall or not. This is early fall, which would be more summer, probably late summer. But yeah, it's dead as dead. So we are going to end here. Hope you guys enjoyed our part two of our Italy 
trip. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. And if you want to stick around for some more videos. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Peace.